Hi, I'm Jonas, one of the product managers on Elvena, and we will show you our newest feature, the Spire of Eternity. Hello, I'm Andreas, the new game designer for Elvena. I have been responsible for the balancing of the Spire of Eternity. So one task was to decide which rewards you will get, which is of course important, especially for you, but also which challenges you will have how many enemies you will fight, which resources you have to invest to um, advance in the Spire of Eternity. Hello, I'm Rike from the Elvena team and I'm the UI UX artist of uh, the team content that is working on the Spire. Maybe, maybe you always wondered what a UI UX artist is. We do the button stuff and so on, so everything you interact with. Hello, I am Laugajan or just Dennis. I'm one of the mobile developers working on the Spire feature. So it's a really big feature, so it comes, so comes with quite a few challenges. One of those is that it just touches a lot of uh, existing features. So for example, the battle. And one of the big challenges is then to make it compatible with the Spire without breaking anything. And, uh, but however, it also gives us the chance to improve on existing features for you guys. The Spire of Eternity is a big new feature we're working on right now. You will find it on the outskirts of your city and there you will see a new white shiny tower showing up. On your way up the tower, you will meet spirits, you will meet lost souls and it's your job to explore the tower and to get unique rewards. My favorite part of the Spire are the beautiful maps. We have three maps for three levels in the Spire of Eternity and they really look awesome. I just can't repeat it often enough. The artists did a really great job there. Actually, for the Spire, I have to agree with Andy. I really adore the art there, um, which is, uh, well, all done by the awesome concept artists. I'm just the one in awe to this uh, much skill and artwork. As a UI UX artist, you um, decide how a feature will feel and how the player gets guided through it. I've been there from the beginning when Jonas first approached us with the idea of this feature. And on the start, it was like, let's, let's do a map. And because it, it uh, shouldn't be as um, close to Fellowship Adventures, we thought about a map that was black and white, like the maps you have in those fantasy games and uh, a lot of the rings and stuff. And then someone came up with the idea and said like, and what about a dungeon? I, I think we could have a dungeon map where an adventurer goes through it and plays with all those encounters. And of course we had, uh, once the word dungeon fell, we had those red flags. This, oh my goodness, it's Alvinar. It can't be dark, it can't be gritty. And uh, we, we actually, um, thought a lot about this and then someone came up with, hey, what about going up instead of going down and having a tower there would be so much lighter and nicer and it would reflect uh, Elvener quite well, but still would be uh, a map where you can really explore your surroundings. It feels like a small adventure and players could have something different than they usually have in Elvener. The other challenge specifically for mobile is also to keep the app size slow so that it just doesn't blow up for you guys, while still being able to fit all these awesome assets that UI created for the Spire feature. My favorite part about the Spire is that every single room is uniquely designed and there's so much to explore, so many different things to notice. So it's definitely worth it to play it many times to explore every single detail. And actually, I could also show you the first prototype ever made for the Spire. It was super rough and we wanted to test it really fast if uh, the concept we had in mind would actually function on a phone or on browser. And um, yeah, uh, you actually can play it through, uh, of course, in the basic version. And uh, here you have a tiny uh, preview of our mini game and uh, it will look way more pretty in the end. I'm really looking forward to Spire, is that I will be able to play at my own pace. I don't need to worry about that I'm screwing anybody's up during tournaments because I'm not participating enough at this time. So maybe I can just wait for the next Spire and give everything. Then the next Spire, I just play it a little bit more relaxed. Other than that, uh, I'm 
We're looking forward uh, to your feedback, guys, and I'm hoping that you will enjoy the Spire as much as we do. We hope you guys enjoyed our little surprise, and you will actually be able to play this feature in a couple of days on beta. So make sure to create an account and see you there.